Hey guys, Robert and Ingrid here, and we've got a, a movie marathon. The Edgar Wright movies. His Three Flavor Carnado trilogy. I'll explain that when we get to the movies, which is Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End, and Scott Pilgrim. Now, the only one you've seen is Scott Pilgrim. Correct? Yeah, that's the only one of this list I've seen, though I've heard of most of the other ones. Before. Except for The World's End. Almost no yeah. one remembers that one, but. Yeah, though, so we're going to start off with Shaun of the Dead. One of the, it helped revitalize zombies again. Why is it with parodies revitalizing the main Oh, yeah, stuff? I've heard this one was really, really funny. It was, and it came out right around the same time, uh, right before um, George Romero had returned with um, his, uh, that Fort Land of the Dead. Hmm. So kind of ironic there. Hmm. But yeah, though, this... It's going to be a very Britishy humor, but it's that Britishy humor, though. No, it's not the too British humor, if you know what I mean. Mm, well, uh, I've been watching a lot of watching and playing through a lot of Britishy stuff lately, so I think I'm right in the mindset for this one. All right. Well, we'll see you guys on the other end. Hey guys, we got done, and it's good. It was really good. Yeah, definitely. It was okay. The first of all, just rather I had powder sugar on my lips. This was, as they put it, a rom zom com. Yes. And it fits. It really fits. It worked really well. It worked very well. Uh, the comedy was very good. It's not too British. Would you mm. agree with that? Yeah, but it had enough to make it distinctly flavored. Okay. Let's start off with... Um, oh, geez, I just blanked on the main character's name. <laughs> I'm always, I know it's Simon. Um, but you know what I mean. But you know what I mean. We, just, we have the main character who we're following through... Um, at the very beginning, and oh, Sean, duh, Sean, it's in the Sean, title. It's, it's in, in the, the title. title. <laughs> sorry, people. Sorry, Sean. Duh, he is okay. Let's actually start with the very beginning, the very first day before the zombie apocalypse starts. It's showing that everyone's already going through life as a zombie as it is. They're just mm -hmm. like, Ugh. yep. And you look through it, you you believe why no one would buy that a zombie apocalypse has happened when it happens. Yeah, it's like that would literally be the furthest thing from your mind. It's just another slow day. And like, if you see trash everywhere, you're like, oh, someone had a bad drink. Mm -hmm. You'd think that, right? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think, oh, no, the zombie apocalypse. No, you'd be thinking, like I said, like, oh, somebody got wasted and trashed the place. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, basically, Sean is coasting through life. He has his flatmate and longtime best friend since elementary, primary school, named Ed. And... According to TV shows, people think he's autistic. What do you think? Mm. Or at least ADD. I feel like ADD is a better descriptor for Than autism. That. Yeah, because yeah, he didn't come off like that autistic. He came by uh, ADD, definitely. A bit spacey at times and distracted, but yeah. But he has his smart moments. It was, yeah. I mean, okay. He, no one in this, in this is an idiot. Mm -hmm. Let's make that clear. Sean's not an idiot. Ed is definitely not an idiot. But Ed is... Selfish. Hmm. Most of the characters in this are selfish in one way or another, except for the mum and mm -hmm. even Liz. Liz was definitely not selfish. Mm-hmm. In fact, and one thing I love about this is that there's a lot of subverting expectation done properly here. Mm-hmm. You set up cliches, and then you reveal the cliches aren't what you think. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. Yeah. You don't set, and unlike others where you're like, you don't set up plot point, you know, like characters, you start to like and then reveal, oh, they were an asshole the whole time. Mm-hmm. Okay, no, I, I take that back, because we do get that here. Mm-hmm. Okay, but anyway. But Sean, it's not the character you'd expect to be the asshole. Exactly. Sean, he and his girlfriend, it's like, she's, the one I like about Liz is she's not nag. Mm hmm Would you agree with that? She's definitely not a nag. Yeah. She wants him to change, not, not to fit some box, but because she knows he's in a rut. He can be better. He can be and better. And that's something that's very positive. And yeah, and it's definitely not, and it's like, and it's shown because he's miserable at his job. Mm -hmm. It's up with his mom, mom and everything, and his stepdad are not the greatest. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that. And again, like he just, he's coasting through life. Is that the best way of putting it? Yeah. He's just coasting Running through. Running on autopilot. Being pretty much a walking dead. Mm -hmm. And... Um, but, and then when he finally screws up big time, he royally, but now the way you think again, again, there's a very expectation. He leaves, they were planning to go to this great dinner. So they, uh, she, they leave and she gives them a call and say, uh, make it seven instead of, an eight instead of seven. You think, oh no, mm -hmm. 
But then later she did call, and it turned out he heard it and he caught it. So I'm like, oh. Yeah. That was a good subverting, wouldn't you say? Because you were expecting, like, oh, no. Yeah. I you were groaning. Oh, yeah. I could feel the secondhand embarrassment. But then it turned out, oh, no, he got it right, but he, was, he, but he got too distracted. And, well, turns out he missed his chance. Oops. And she breaks up with him, rightfully so. I mean, I don't blame her, do you? Yeah. It's like sometimes you just have to know when to fold them. Exactly. But then, very next, and throughout that whole day, the zombie apocalypse happened. Now, I was like, what do you think about their room, their flatmate, Pete? He's an ass, but again, Ooh. it's kind of like, I say he's like Liz, but he's more likely to be aggressive about it. Mm-hmm. Would you agree with that? Like, like I think there were times where he's actually making a good point, like when he's like, we broke up with Liz. Rather than give him more shit, he was willing to say, all right, just keep it down. It was only until Ed called him a prick that he finally snapped. Yeah, he just seems like kind of a guy that would mostly keep to himself. and Would rather keep to himself, but mm -hmm. he's stuck with these two annoying flatmates. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he's just like, why does he just go? And he's like, remember that good time? Yeah, when was that? Five years ago. It's like, again, so he's acknowledging he knows the good times, but it's like, stay in the moment. Mm -hmm. Get him out of here. Mm -hmm. But um, then the zombie apocalypse. Oh, but you know what We'll have a Bloody Mary. We're going to do all this stuff. Pretty much everything they said they were going to do. Um, Ed said they were going to do the next day. They ended up doing. <laughs> Just not in the way they had planned. Because they had the first, girl, the first time they see what, what we open up with a replica of the very, the previous day. Mm -hmm. Where he's just going through everything. And again, you're looking through it. You're, you can see why no one's going to be like, uh-huh. It's more like, uh, mm -hmm. He's just running through. Now, of course, there's some points like there's bloody hands on it. He's hung over. He's not. Gonna, yeah. You're not going to register that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've never been hungover, so I wouldn't know, but, you know, but still, and basically gets through, and then, but then, Ed says, there's a girl out in the, in the garden, mm -hmm. so they go out there, and sure enough, who's out there, a girl with the name Mary, mm -hmm. Bloody Mary, mm -hmm. but even then, she didn't look like a zombie. Yeah, she just kind of looks like she's a bit drunk. Yeah, and exactly, it's like, oh, she wants a snug, and all <laughs> that. And then, but then once they push her in, and she, I guess being a zombie means your flesh is a lot more thinner. Mm -hmm. That's what it seemed like they were going for, right? Yeah. Because seriously, like, falling down on that thing would more be like, oh, not like a, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be impaled like that. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure being a zombie weakens your skin, you know, thins your skin out or something. Yeah. Or makes it more rubbery. Hmm. But yeah, but then, and then you get the cop, the, the commie bits, like, grab anything, destroy the brain, and so they're throwing everything at it, but it's like, you guys, that's not going to do it. The... Mm -hmm. And then they start doing the record players. And then the they record. just start hastily debating right there. Uh, okay, keep throw, keep, keep throw. <laughs> and like, let's be honest, someone would do that. I don't know if I would. Well, actually, that does feel like something someone would do. Would you, or would you just throw everything? Be honest. Um, I would probably pick and choose, let's be real. <laughs> exactly. Like, if I threw my comic books, I'd be doing it. I'd be like... Uh, <clears throat> you know. Like, if I didn't just try to grab my keyblade and bash him over the head. Yeah, but chances are you only get a few heads before that breaks. Yeah, but at that moment, I would probably care a little bit more about my life than some plastic. Exactly, exactly. No, I'm just saying how good, how good of a what you know, how, how long that would last is what I mean. Uh, I'd probably have better luck with one of my kitchen knives. Exactly. And then, so they decide, that leads to the classic, we're going to, we'll go to mom. Take care of Philip. Sorry, Philip. <laughs> 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 and, 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 and go get, and go Liz and wait till the and, and, uh, blow is over. Why Liz? I, look, if I want to do it, and I like Ed's reason, actually. I want to play, know where the exits are. I want a place that's secure and safe and where I can smoke. Mm -hmm. I do like that, don't you? It's like. Yeah, it's just like. If you had to come up with a plan on the fly, you could do a lot worse than that. And again, those are reasonable restrictions. You want to know where the exits are. Duh, you don't want to go someplace you don't know. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bert and he said, okay, we'll come back here. No way, we can't be here. Yeah, I mean, look at the place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> again, that's what shows that Ed is not an idiot. An idiot would have been like, why not? Mm -hmm. And then they decided to go to the Winchester, the pub. Mm -hmm. And Except that's a whole journey and a half in and of itself. So they eventually, because they heard Philip got bitten. And he lasts a good while, actually. It's only when he gets bitten again that it gets worse. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Philip, played by Bill Nighy, you think he's the asshole stepfather. Mm -hmm. But then we find out, and then there's a point where he's trying to get his mom out, his mom out of there. Um, named Barbara, which leads to a bit like, we're coming to get you, Barbara. 
<laughs> They're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> I love that reversal on it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, he's trying to tell his mom to get out of the house, and Lee fell behind. Then he tries to say, like, he touched me. Cheeks, man. And I'm like, even he, I do like how Sean is like, even he admits, like, Ugh, like, why did I have to go there? Mm -hmm. Did you notice that? That he felt that he regretted saying that? Yeah. But then, it turns out, Philip, again, he's not a bad guy, actually, we find out. Mm hmm He, because eventually he gets bitten, and he starts to die, and he basically tells Sean, I just wanted to be a father. Mm hmm I wanted you to have someone to look up to, and I wanted it to be me. And it's just like, but he, so he clearly realized he cocked it up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then, of course, that means once he dies in his car, they have to get out of it because he turns. Oh, yeah. And then that's a whole sequence and a half. Yep. Because, oh, yeah. They made they got to Liz and her two friends, David and um, Dana, I believe, or Danai. Mm -hmm. And David, it's so clear, he's still in love with um, Liz. Mm -hmm. Painfully obvious, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, they go through a whole lot of fiascos, including meeting up with um, Sean's old girlfriend who has her own little posse with her i love that when they actually make a joke about that mm -hmm. then um as they're making their way to the pub barbara gets bitten yeah but we don't realize it but it's just like barbara why did you just stand there and get you know clearly she had to have opened the door mm -hmm. and then you're just like why mm -hmm. but um yeah they get through they make it to the pub and showing us how the clashing it is um, Sean's right there, there's a back door, but then David just smashes the window open. So mm -hmm. Sean decides to run off and, you know, to, to distract him. Oh, and Ed almost fucks it up. Mm. Right? Yeah. Uh, it's moments like that where you almost feel like, just leave Ed behind, but then he makes it up for it. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I get props for him. He makes up for his fuck-ups. Mm -hmm. But um, they make their way in. David and Sean distracts the zombie, so he runs off. Of course, David feels like just to leave him. He ain't coming back. He ain't coming back. Mm -hmm. He shows. He comes back, mm -hmm. and they're they're dry down. They're just um, nestled down and everything, until it turns out the zombies follow him. Oops. Whoops. So they're trying to do everything, and it leads to a big fiasco as bar uh, and the zombies are making their way in. Now it turns out they have a shotgun. You know the shotguns there, which he's saying it ain't real. It ain't real. <laughs> 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 okay, did you expect it to be real? 50-50. It was real. They used the gun, but then Barbara dies, which leads to the bit then where David, let's be honest, there was a good way of doing it, and he did it the worst way possible, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Instead of like, Ch -ch -ch, Sean got away, we got to put her down. It's like, dude, when does that ever work? Yeah. When does something like that, especially if I'm a mama's boy like Sean, does that ever work? Mm-hmm. <laughs> the fact that David even tries to confess his feelings for Liz. Liz like, there, like, there's a time and a place, and you're being a bit of a twat. Mm-hmm. Because seriously, David, he's an ass. Yeah. It's quite clear. I mean, to the point where, and then after they finally convince him, and that was emotional, Barbara's death, first of all, and mm -hmm. then him having to shoot her was painful. But then what does David say? Mm -hmm. I think we all agree you did the right thing. Like, dude! Hey! Not the sort of thing you say in that moment, no. You say it afterwards. You mm -hmm. say it sometime after they've calmed down to try like to try and talk him down. Not immediately. Then what does he do? Mm -hmm. He tries to shoot Sean. You heard the click, right? Yeah. He's like, you're gonna shoot him. Mm -hmm. And then he gets killed in the most gruesome way, and I gotta say, mm, did don't you fe feel as bad about that as I could have. No. But with how far it went, I think I did feel like a little yeah. like, okay, one bite is one thing. Being stripped and like, disemboweled? Yeah. No. That was a bit much even for him. Mm -hmm. Then um, th then I, um, she actually run down. Now, according to one of the deleted scenes, she actually survived. She just climbed up a tree. Uh <laughs> hey, it works for, I bet you there's a bunch of cats up in the trees, I bet, hiding from the zombies. That would make a lot of sense. And, thus, and then Ed gets bitten. By Pete, their flatmate. Which oh. Are, yeah, that was the biggest. I thought, hey, Sean, look who it is. Oh, no. <laughs> and then um, they may, eventually, again, the, the climax is very good, isn't it? Yeah. Because you have all this crap going on. They eventually make their down their cellar. And 
Liz and Sean are considering suicide. I mean, I wouldn't blame them, would you? I wouldn't, con- I wouldn't blame them either. It just kind of seems like, well, the world's going to shit now. Might as well end it before the zombies do. But then they realize, because they, they, they think they're stuck in the cell, then they realize they can get out of there and just make some last stand. Mm-hmm. But then you have the moment. Now, there's a gag that was set up earlier where basically Ed goes, I'm sorry. So I, you have nothing to be sorry about. No, I'm really sorry. I do it all. Hmm. Like, like, that's not funny. I'll stop doing it when you stop laughing. Hmm. And yeah, so he's going to stay behind. They get up and it turns out the military shows up. Mm-hmm. Now, and they save the day. And I guess, so what did you see about the post-zombie world where they're using it like, Oh, I still love my my zombie husband. <laughs> or um, they're making a game show out of them. Or the tale of a kid who survived by shooting his entire zombie family. And they're making a big, you know, to-do about it, things like that. Like, what did you think about that? Do you think that's how a post-Z-Day world would be? Or do you think that's a Maybe little... Maybe slightly over the top, but not too far away from the truth. And to be honest, I do, could see someone be like, I still love my husband. Mm-hmm. You know there'll be people like that. Uh-huh. And it turned out Sean's not that different. He has Ed chained up and he still plays video games. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But overall, what's your final thoughts of the movie? I thought it was really good. They managed to get a good balance of comedy, realism, and heart in it. And exactly. it was really great. Exactly. Like I said, anything would have been the cliches of, oh, Ed's the big idiot. He's the one who caused problems for everyone. Actually, no. Ed only caused problems a little bit. When he did, though, it was major. But for the most part... He actually did a lot more good than bad. Mm-hmm. Like, for... His screw-ups were sort of honest mistakes as opposed to being, like, stuck in your own head. Exactly. And I, it's like, for example, Ed, I mean, he wasn't responsible for what happened to Sean and Liz. Mm-hmm. You would have thought. They almost felt like they were setting it up where he was going to be responsible. Nope. It was all Sean's doing. Mm-hmm. Right down to trying to give his mother's flowers that he bought for her to Liz as they to make up. And it's like, dude! Let's be honest, that's the dumbest thing you could do, right? Yeah. If you had a guy you just broke up with try to pull that and you realize those flowers were his mom, wouldn't you even be like... Come on, guy. You'd be like, GTFO, right? Like, uh, Probably just more of an exasperated sigh and move on with my day. Exactly. But, again, overall, this was just damn good. But wait until we get to the next movie with Hot Fuzz. I think that's going to be an even better one. Oh, boy. But, yeah, this... I can see why this brought back the zombies. Because the other thing is, the zombies, it's like, it's like a good John, I mean, Romero zombie movie. Mm-hmm. The zombies aren't the main thre- focus. They're just kind of a framing They're device catalyst. for the characters. They're a catalyst. Mm-hmm. It's all about how the, he- the characters are affected. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Thanks. We'll see you guys on the next one with Hot Buzz.